Kinsey obviously uh, came up short last time around, but five round fight, phenomenal fight. I guess you know once you got to kind of soak it all in and think about it. What, what lessons did you end up taking out of that? Yeah, my I have 25 minutes of footage that I was able to go back and just study. Um, I think I matured so much as a fighter after that fight. Um, yeah, I mean I went through a, a lot of adversity in that fight. I had, you know, I had knee surgery later. Um, Marina's really experienced, so it just kind of shows that when you get to the top, a little mistake or a little um, second guessing. I guess I'd say I, I did a lot in that fight. I second guessed myself on a lot of things, even on the ground. I was thinking, should I ground and pound more? Should I go for the submission? You know, just just go. You know, that's what it's about. You know, we're here to fight and just trust in trust in the process, trust in my training, and that's really what I was able to do on this camp and. I'm excited to fight Tisha, you know, I think that, you know, she's a little bit similar as in striking, she has good footwork, kind of like Marina, so I'm happy that I'm fighting someone with a little bit similar um, style, and I can really try and just correct the things that I that I messed up in that fight, and, you know, show that I'm ready, you know, I'm ready to be top five on up, you know? <laughs> yeah, well, I was going to say, I mean, you're coming back, and you're on this main card of a huge pay-per-view. I mean, does that, I guess, maybe give you some confidence or some, like, they obviously believe in me if they're putting me right back in this position? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I know I know the UFC believes in me. They believed in me before I even had any MMA fight. You know, I was side on the developmental plan before I had my first MMA fight, so they believed just in my jiu-jitsu. Um, they gave me that opportunity. Of course, I'm growing in basically the biggest the biggest organization there is, you know, so I'm, I'm still learning. You see, like, Rose is developing until now. She developed in the UFC. So we can't win them all. Um, but definitely I feel like I'm – I feel they believe in me. I feel the fans believe in me. I feel I feel like I'm learning, and that's that's the fight I'm going to become. It's just forward and trust trust my style. You kind of touched on it, but I wondered if you saw this fight almost as an extension of the last one. You know, I mean, she, she's been around for a long time, but the, the style similarity is pretty interesting, right? So, I mean, does it feel like you're kind of just picking up where you left off in that training camp? Yeah, for, I mean, different because with Marina, I was doing my camp really focused on Marina. In this fight, um, this training camp, I just started thinking about Tisha maybe three weeks before the fight, you know, three, four weeks before the whole beginning because I had knee surgery. Um, I really had to, like, kind of hold back a little bit. I couldn't just come in straight and think about, oh, what's Tisha's style? Okay, let me work on, you know, closing the distance. You know, Perilla really kind of put me back to the basics. I learned how to simplify things more. Like I said before, in my fight with Marina, I was kind of second-guessing a lot of things, so thinking a lot. And I'm overthinker. You know, I want to be perfectionist. I know the critics think, oh, her takedowns are so sloppy. Oh, um, she's getting better at the striking, but it's still, you know... You know, you just can't think about it, you know. And so really just simplifying this camp, thinking about Mackenzie, thinking about um, the basics, my my own distance, you know. Um, and now I feel way comfortable, like, okay, my when well, my jab is here, my right hand can, you know, and, and learning, you know. So really this, fo- this camp was focused a lot on me and not really Tisha, and I think that's the big difference between my camp for Marina. I was thinking about her right hand, thinking about um, how she's tall. Tisha's shorter, you know. So I'm definitely excited to be fighting someone my height a little bit short, I'll have the reach advantage. Um, but yeah, like I said, if I was to fight Carlos Barza, for example, who's a wrestler, you know, and I just came from a striker, I am definitely prefer going with someone similar because those mistakes are still fresh in my mind, you know. Yeah. I-, I wonder, like, how much does your strategy change though, from fight to fight? Because, like, anytime somebody fights you, we're asking them, hey, what did you do to get ready for McKenzie? Because you know what she brings to the table. <laughs> like, but for you, like, do you really have to change what you do per opponent? Or is it just like, I know if I get them on the ground, it's over? Yeah, exactly. Definitely. I don't, that's why I don't really like strategize too much for who I'm fighting, you know? It's always, I'm still just working so much on me to get me comfortable, to get me, um, you know, not so nervous to be in the firing lane because if I want to get to the ground, I got to go in the firing lane, the firing lane you know? And thankfully, Tisha is someone who kind of blitzes forward. And so I think that's good to have that, that engagement um, instead of like someone like Marina, for example, who she's long, she can kind of point and get out and stay on the outside, you know? And I have to really try hard to close the distance. And Tisha, she's shorter, she needs to do that. So I, yeah, I really just. I don't strategize too much. Everyone knows the strategy. Oh, I want to submit. I want to take to the ground. Um, 
I'll throw my hands because that's what I need to get to the ground, you know, and not, not get intimidated, gain, gain my respect, and I'm just working on getting the best fighter I can be. Nice. Last thing for me, I, I guess, uh, you know, it's kind of weird because coming off a loss, but it looks like we've kind of got two title fights already laid out and lined up, and, and you win. I mean, you're kind of right there. Do you feel like your next fight could be potentially a number one contender fight based on the result here? Yeah, I think a number one contender fight, yeah, it depends. I think everything depends, you know, how how this fight goes, if it's like a really close fight, you know. It's hard. Tisha has a lot of decisions, you know. A lot of her fights are very close. Um, so, I mean, I don't know really where that puts, but since I came off a loss and now this fight, hopefully I get the win. Um, yeah, I would like to have a couple more fights until I go. But, yeah, the division's kind of, you know, everyone's basically, Marina just fought, Rose is going to fight with Carla, so we're waiting to see Joanna and Zhang Wei Li again. Um, so, yeah, we'll see what what there is to offer after this fight, but I think if I get a great and make a big statement on a huge card like this, um, definitely can be like another contender, co contender match in the after. <laughs> Mackenzie over here. I know you talked about the 25-minute the fight with Marina and how you were able to, to learn a lot from that fight, but when you had the loss to Amanda Hibas, it lit a fire under you. It, it, it changed a lot of things for you as well, and you bounced back with some of the best performances of your career. Outside of just the growth and, and getting back to the fundamentals, what has changed since that fight with Marina Rodriguez? What has that done for your competitive fire? Um, I think with Marina, like I think with Amanda Ribas, when I lost to her, you know, I was still coming, you know, finding who I was, coming back in back into my shape, you know, I was kind of coming back more just for the mental part of it, like, okay, I can come back, I can still do good, you know, and so I was fired like Oh no! I'm gonna show that I can. I'm meant to be here. And Marina was. Now I'm, I want to show that I'm meant to be a champion. You know, so it's a little bit. You know, I think the next level. Um, definitely, Marina. I I went in like the best physique I could, like physically wise. Um, I did like a really good camp. But you just see that with the top five girls, you know, you can't make a mistake because they're the best of the best. You know, and that's where I, I'm starting to say, okay, I need to tighten everything up, basically, you know, more the details, um, and that's my focus now, is to be that type of fighter, you know, not just, of course, I'm still going for bonuses, I'm still going for submissions, that's my style, but my motivation is way more, like, to not make mistakes, and understand that these girls have strategy now, you know, and they can, you know, they can afford to lose the first round, and then put it on on the last round, and me, I'm just go, go, go from the beginning until the end, and getting my emotions, and so now it, I'm definitely focused on a different level, on more technical things, and I think more like a mature professional fighter. You sort of alluded to it, but a lot of people view this fight as, you know, she's the striker, she needs to keep it on the feet, you're the, the jujitsu practitioner, if it gets down, one takedown, it could be over shortly after. Do you agree with that, or do you feel like the improvement in your striking is, things are a lot closer in that department? Yeah, I mean, I definitely think that my striking is equaling out, even though I know a lot of people don't think that. I think as soon as she feels my striking, you know, she's going to think like, okay, um, I have to think about her striking now, you know. One of the compliments that Marina did when we finished the fighting, she, we hugged each other and she said, man, your striking is getting so much better, you know, after like five rounds, mostly five rounds standing up, you know. So even though I know people still, she has many more years striking, for sure, I think my striking is way better than my takedowns, my wrestling, you know. So um, I really think that her striking is a little bit more even than she she imagines. But, yeah, I mean, my jiu-jitsu is still the number, <laughs> the number one, <laughs> number one, for sure. That's it.